With the recent release of Cyberpunk 2077, we are afforded an interesting opportunity to compare PCs and consoles. One of the questions that we are asked quite often is, why do you need X in a PC if the console has Y? Or why do you need more on a PC if the console only has X or something else? Uh, for example, I've recommended that if you want to play AAA games for the next few years, you want a 10 or 12 core chip, you want 32 gigs of RAM, you want, you know, basically the best video card you can afford, to which many people respond, well, the consoles only have 16 gigs of RAM. They only have eight cores. They're lower power chips. You don't need that much to play games. Well, that's true if you're playing on a console, but it's worth noting that consoles don't have detail settings. There's no low, medium, high, ultra ridiculous settings on consoles. Nope. The details are whatever runs on that particular hardware. The, the game developers adjust whatever's in the game to run on whatever hardware is being run. And in the case of, for example, the older Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, they put in low quality textures, low quality of polygon models, it runs at low frame rates, there's no special effects, it is way damped down, and even then it runs at a poor frame rate. No problem, get yourself an Xbox Series X, get yourself a PlayStation 5, and you're golden, right? A high-end premium PC is superior to the consoles. It costs a lot more, it should be. Um, CD Projekt Red primarily showed us footage from high-end PCs during the launch with only select pieces of footage from even the next generation game consoles, PS5, Xbox Series X, etc. And now we've got shots of what it looks like running on a PlayStation 4. And in fact, I'll put us full screen here, 15 frames per second, and it looks as old as that looks. There's, there's no spectacular lighting system here. There's no reflections. These textures are very pixelated and very low quality, and it still, frankly, runs like crap. Console hardware doesn't run the same game you do. You don't download the same textures, art, assets. They're not the same things. When you hear about the new PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X running 4K, 120 frames per second, well, sure, I can get very budget hardware to run 4K, 120 frames per second. Take seven-year-old games with 720p textures and low-detail polygons, okay. and you can make that run at 4K on old hardware. Great, no problem. So... You can make any new game run at 4K at 120 frames per second if you take out enough texture detail, if you take out enough polygon detail, if you turn off all the effects in the lights, and you just physically generate images. So the point is PC games are not as optimized as consoles because they have to be able to run on, oh. on a 1080, 2080, 3080 Whatever. They have to be able to run on AMD and NVIDIA, you know, Intel and AMD. Yep. And Windows is running. Things are in the background. They have sure. to take, they don't have direct control of the hardware. On the consoles, they can take direct control of the hardware. Priority yeah. access. Exactly. There is no priority access. Well, the games are optimized for the console. For one hardware configuration. Correct. At least, you know, for each version of the game. Correct. So on the PC, whenever I say... Yeah, these new consoles have 16 gigs. You need 32, man. It makes a difference. And if you're a Ryzen 9, you know, 5900X buyer with a, you know, you're planning on putting an RTX 3080 Ti in there, um, I would say 64 gigs is not crazy. And I'm sure many gamers will hear that and go, what? You want to play Cyberpunk 2077 at 4K? Uh, ultra detail with ray tracing on and RTSS and uh, uh, RTSS DLSS. DLSS in performance mode. Um, newsflash: You'll need a 3080 or 3090 to do that, just to get 60 frames per second. And you'll need an eight-core chip, but a 12-core would be better. It'll use it. Um, in fact, there were some tests done by 
Tom was it Tom's no, Tech Power Up? No, Tom's no, Hardware. Tom's Hardware. Where the performance loss by going from an eight core, sixteen thread chip to a four core, eight thread chip was uh, anywhere between thirty to fifty percent, depending upon what they were testing. You know, and I guess six core would obviously be somewhere in between and it would be better. But this is the sort of next gen game I've been saying. Yeah, so you look at benchmarks, you see all the other tech reviewers talk about, yeah, you only need 16 gigs of RAM and a six core CPU. What are you talking about? You don't need more stuff. Right. For Shadow of the Tomb Raider, two years ago, two years, that game came out in 2018. The Division 2 came out two years ago. Ghost Recon Breakpoint, a year and a half ago. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Actually, that thing runs like crap anyway. But, I mean, that game is now almost two years old. Uh -huh. A lot of the games that we benchmark aren't 2020 games. Now, some are, but a lot aren't. But Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Watch Dogs Legion, Legion. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 are 2020 releases. And going into 20... If you're building a new machine now, you want to play yesterday's game? What, what are you buying a new machine for? You want to play 2021 games and 2022 games. At the very least, I think if you're building a new machine today, would you not want to at least play games for the next two years? Just two? Yeah. And and you think hardware equal to or less than 500 art gaming consoles is going to cut that? Give me a break. One of the things that I've had a lot of comments on lately is the whole whatever happened to Tech Deal's recommendations of budget hardware. I saw this over on Bite Size oh, Tech recently. Yes. Whoa, Tech just says buy the best. What, what's going on here? What about those of us who have a three hundred dollar budget? <laughs> buy a game console because budget PC gaming was better three and four years ago. There were some really good options when they were stagnant. You could buy a used four core machine. You could put together a used machine with eight gigs of RAM and a four core, four thread chip in 2016, and it would still play new games. But today you can't put together a three or four year old machine and play new games. We're kind of in a weird spot with PC gaming. The budget area has just been crushed. Yeah. And it's like, thank God we've got these new consoles, which are actually fairly decent. The PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One when they launched were fairly weak hardware. Correct. The PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X are fairly strong hardware, relatively speaking. But two or three years from now, they're not going to look nearly as good as they do now. They're not. Compared to the new stuff. I, that's going to, their shortfall will be sooner rather than later. Unless they come out with an Xbox Series Y and an Xbox Series E. I'm waiting. X. <laughs> They've already got it. Yeah. It's the same reason Tesla named their four cars that. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for you to say it. No, I'm not going to say it. You're not going to say it? <laughs> you can. Because <laughs> the Xbox is sexy. Yeah. Exactly. S-E-X-Y. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought it was funny. Elon Musk is a strange creature. He just moved to Texas, you know. He did. Oh, that's nice. He officially moved to Texas. Austin? Yeah, he's tired of California's taxes <laughs> and policies. And... He's just bringing it all to Austin. Yeah, it is. All the Californians moved to Austin. <laughs> SpaceX and Tesla have been buying up a lot of land in Texas, actually, to build stuff out oh, here. Oh, we're going to have rockets? Yes. Oh, great. Sorry, folks. We've just got a spacecraft going up into the sky. Give us a second. <laughs> <laughs> so... If you're building a gaming PC and you want it to last for more than five frickin' minutes, your old conceptions of what you needed are just that old. Yep. Upgrade. The problem is availability. The graphics cards aren't available and the CPUs are next to impossible to find, so I, I feel your pain. <laughs> Need a PlayStation 9 to play these what, games. <laughs> what are your... <laughs> what are your options? <laughs> well, ideally, a Ryzen 9 5900X with 64 gigs of RAM and an RTX 3080 Ti or an RX 6800 XT would be lovely. Call me when you can buy any of that. I'm done. <laughs> You're done? Yes. Okay. That's nice. 
Tell me I'm wrong. Nope. Tell me I'm wrong. For what? We gotta wait for a rocket to bloody go into space before we can carry on. Oh, this is interesting. Oh. I'll put this up. This is Ooh. a frame rate test. Oh. You know, I think this is why I never like consoles. Because that, to me, I can't even look, look at Look at the that. jitteriness I know. going back and forth. That just makes me... PS9 is an eye implant. No kidding, Andrew. That's garbage. Oh, wow. 28 frames a second? Oh. And it looks like crap. Make that go away. And it looks like crap. I guess it does. Oh, hang on. He's driving now. He's driving. That's terrible. It is. Hey, Slitty. Thanks, mate. No worries. Now, there's one nice thing I can say about this. What? If you buy... Now, it's a trick. It's a trap. If you buy... The PlayStation 4 disc version of the game. Of what? Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk? 2077. You get a free upgrade next year. It's not out now. You'll get a free upgrade to the PlayStation 5 enhanced version. Enhanced? Let's see what I have to put up with around here, folks. <laughs> you told me. <laughs> <laughs> if you buy, but there's a trick. It requires the disc version of the PS5. If you have the discless version, it doesn't work. Because you have to be able to put your PS4 disc into the PS5 and it will recognize it and upgrade you to the digit to the to the Well that's not gonna be confusing for people. Oh, that's gonna goose so many people, it's not even funny. I didn't even know what to say. I can hear chat I mean there's like mic drop. Somebody said it looks like a PS2 game. It does. It does. looks terrible. Give me Unreal Engine 5. That's what I want to see. Yeah. Looks like Crazy Taxi. It does look like Crazy Taxi. Look like GTA 4, maybe worse. Yeah. <laughs> Gold leader. <laughs> We're not reading that. Nope. It's not read. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you mean? Yes, for some, but the point is if you buy the PS4 version on disc now, you have to have the PS5 disc version to be able to upgrade for free. Otherwise, you're SOL. Yeah. That's 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 going to get Andrew says that's going to hack people off. <sighs> Why is it recommended to install it on SSD? Because it'll be a choppy, stuttery mess running from a hard drive. Mm -hmm. You should be running modern, big AAA games from SSDs. They're awful on a hard drive. Don't even waste your time. Oh, try it just so you've got the experience, and then you can come back and say, yeah, I tried that. Don't do it. I love it. So, yeah, the question of how is CD Projekt Red going to get Cyberpunk 2077 working on the Xbox One S and PS4 has been answered. They didn't. <laughs> um, yeah. They didn't. Make sure you watch my Tech News Network on Saturday because I got some questions for you who are playing Cyberpunk.